The common reality is that lots of people are now living paycheck to paycheck. Being poor and stranded is one, just one pay sleep away. It is emotionally draining and there is pressure to find that side also that can bring in passive income with very minimal effort and little time. This is the ugly side of side hustles on YouTube. How real is it to generate thousands of pounds or dollars in one day? I hate to break it to you. It is unreal. If you feel bombarded by the amount of side hustle videos on YouTube, you are not alone. This is sadly due to the pandemic, the layoffs and redundancies that are cutting it so close to home. You probably know somebody who has lost their jobs in the past three months and general high cost of living that we're all living in now. You see, the side also content creators seem to have figured out on their own. They've saved up money from their own day jobs and they've jumped online to become content creators to cash in on our attention. What's in it for these creators? Have you asked yourself? And then also, are they just being helpful to you and I? I don't think so. You see, these videos, they're easy to make and they are repeated and recycled. Once you've watched one, you will agree with me that they're churning out the same information. The views are guaranteed because the audience are readily available. It's you, it's me, and the CPM is high. Have you checked it? You see, with a bit of research, you can come up with a list of 40 or more side hustles that you can do. Just find one that suits you and follow the money. Making easy money online sounds like a dream come true. If it were easy, everybody should be doing it. It's like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as it sounds. In fact, it can be quite a nightmare. Let's start with the basics. To make money online, you need to be able to set a website up and promote it, right? You also need to know how to write compelling story, a copy and paste creative, attractive visuals. It's not easy and it can take quite a long time to learn. You also need to be tech savvy in order to set up the website and manage the various aspects of it. Now, making money online could be through your content creation or even selling products or affiliate marketing or advertising or maybe the call center that you work from your own home. You see, with each of these methods, you have to put in a lot of work. You need to create content that people actually want to read or watch and you have to promote it. It can take a lot of time and effort. So as you can see, the ugly reality of making easy money online is that it's anything but easy. The truth is this. It takes time. It requires a lot of hard work and dedication. It's, it's like trying to build a sandcastle on the beach. You will have to keep shoveling and piling sand if you want the sandcastle to stay standing. It's not impossible, but it doesn't come easy. Remote jobs with companies are becoming hard to get. Why? Because there are lots of people applying for the same jobs. Applications are getting choked up. For those online posted by content creators, most of them are scams. In fact, they contain a lot of inaccurate information. And they contain web links that will install malware on your PCs and even your phones. As with anything in life, Side hustles don't work if you don't. Money cannot just drop without lifting a finger. No. So next time you choose to click on that quick money thumbnail, just think twice. Are you still not convinced? Well, go and watch videos where the hustles are tested. Thankfully, creators like Austin Godbolt tries them out with his own I Tried It series on his channel. Nothing comes easy, I'll keep saying it. As somebody said, if it were easy, everyone would be doing it and we would all be millionaires and billionaires. Go and watch TED Talk, Grit, titled Grit, The Power of Passion and Perseverance. And while you're at it, also watch Lovey Ajayi. The title of hers is Get Comfortable with Being Uncomfortable. Things are not easy, but we have to keep going. So what alternatives am I presenting to you? There's nothing wrong with staying in your day job. The 9 to 5, the traditional job, waking up in the morning and going to work, it's still there. Take a look around you. We live in the real world. Don't submit to social media pressure that peaks and drops the odd thing for our attention. And they are getting it. 
It may sound obvious, but you should focus on building a sustainable income that aligns with your skills and interests. You see, it could be starting a business or pursuing a, or pursuing a career in a field that you're passionate about. There are lots of people not taking decisions, not taking actions, which is the shift from thinking to making a decision to acting. It has the potential for long-term growth and success, more than the get-rich-quick content. It could also mean investing in your education and skills so that you can increase your earning potential in your current career. You either grow up or you grow sideways. There are so many ways to grow while you're working. They say start with what you have to get what you want, where you are right now. Another alternative I have to present to you is to find ways to save money and reduce your everyday expenses. We're all guilty of lifestyle inflation. As soon as we get that little top up on top of our salary or our income, the lifestyle creeps up on us. We desire bigger things, nicer things. We start adding to, to the to-do list, to the bucket list. It should be easy. But I'm not going to lie to you, it's not easy. You see, cutting back on unnecessary expenses, negotiating your salary, negotiating better deals on bills and subscriptions, we should all do it. Let's try it and see what happens, but don't fall for the ugly side of the YouTube streets, the side hustles. They don't help, they won't help, they will never help. <laughs>